Hello friends, this video on triangles part 32 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 31. Let's take home example. ABC is a right triangle, right angled at B and D is the foot of the perpendicular drawn from B on BC. If DM is parallel to BC, uh, perpendicular to BC and DN is perpendicular to AB, we have to prove that dm square is equal to dn dms. Everything omega, let's draw the triangle. This is the triangle, right triangle, right angled at b. So this is the right angle. And d is the foot of perpendicular drawn from b on ac. So from b on ac we draw this point. This is d. Okay. Also dm is perpendicular to bc. So let's draw a perpendicular line here. Perpendicular to bc this is m. And dn is perpendicular to ab, so let's draw this line here. N this is n. So my construction is clear, right? dn is perpendicular to ab, dn is perpendicular to bc, and it's the foot of perpendicular drawn from ab, so this is also ab. So if you see this, we have to prove that dn square is equal to dn into mc. This is dn. Well, let's see the sides which are involved. This is dm involved twice so I will draw a line twice here dn and mc so this is dn and this is mc correct dm dm dn mc now since we know that dm has to be equal to mb so we can take this triangle also because this is a square actually, this is this is a parallelogram. All sides are 90 degree. So we'll take this one. Then instead of dm, I can take so I can say that dm is equal to nv actually. Both are same. Also, if you see dn will be equal to vm. And so you this side will be equal to this side and this side will be equal to this side. So if you want to prove instead of this, I can take this side also. Correct? So if you take this side, the two triangles that we will talk about is this triangle and this. Correct. Now let's try to find the values. Right? Let's try to prove that they are similar. So if you see, let's assume this is angle 1. This is angle 2, this is angle 3, and this is angle 4. Right? This is 90 degrees. So if you see, we can got, get very a lot of equation. 1 plus 2 is equal to 90 degrees. Why? Because this is 90, this is 90 actually. So I'll say angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 90 degree. Correct? Similarly, angle 1 plus angle 3 is also 90. Why? Because some of angle is 180. So I can say that angle 1 plus angle 3 plus 90 is equal to 180. In triangle DVM. So we'll say that angle 1 plus angle 3 is also equal to 90 degree. Correct. So we compare these two equations angle 1 plus 2 is equal to 90 and angle 1 plus 3 is equal to 90. We can say that angle 2 is equal to angle 3. This is my first equation. Correct. We compare these two equations 1 plus 90 or 2 is equal to 90 minus 1 and 3 is equal to 90 minus 1. So I will get 2 plus 2 is equal to angle 3. Similarly, angle 2 plus angle 4 is equal to angle 3. How? Because 2 plus angle 4 plus 90 is equal to 180. So I will get 2 plus 4 is equal to 90 degree. Correct. Also, angle 3 plus 4, if you see in this bigger triangle, DBC. That is also 90. Why? Because angle 3 plus angle 4 plus this is 90, right? Plus 90 is equal to 180. Total is 180. So we can say that angle 3 plus 4 is equal to 90. So if you compare these two equations, if you compare this equation 2 plus 4 90 and 3 plus 4 90, you see that 3, 2 is equal to 3. That is done. We have to prove that. Angle 1 is equal to angle 4 now. 
So to prove angle 1 is equal to angle 4, what we can do is, if you see angle 1 plus 3 is 90 degree, right, and angle 4 plus 3 is 90 degree. You compare these two equations, angle 4 plus 3 is 90 degree and 1 plus 4 is 90 degree. So if you say angle 1 is equal to 90 minus uh, 3 and angle 4 is also equal to 90 minus 3. So I can say that angle 1 is equal to angle 4. Correct. Now if you see if angle 1 is equal to angle 4 and angle 2 is equal to angle 3, right? And this is also equal, always equal. So we can see that the double triangle are similar. So first let's do that they are similar. So we will see that in triangle D and C, I will say D and B first, D and B and triangle C and D. Why? Because if you see right, D, D and B, this is D and B. D M B, right? Here B is nothing but my angle 3. 3. D is nothing but 3. Sorry. B is nothing but 3. And M D C is nothing but 2. Angle 2. D M B is M is nothing but 90 degree. C M D is 90, right? An angle D is nothing but D M, not equal actually. Two angles are equal, that means they are similar. So if you see in these two triangles are similar, so we can write that in triangle D M B and triangle C M D, angle 2 is equal to angle 3 and angle M is equal to angle M. So they are similar. Once they are similar, I can say that dm by cm because it is required right we are supposed to prove that dm by cm is equal to dn by dm correct so we if you compare these two triangles what we get dm by cm this is equal to dn by dm we have to prove so this is nothing but md by dm right this is nothing but md by dm and mb is we know that mb is equal to dn you know this right so we get we can write this dm by cm is equal to of mb i'll write dn by dm so i can write that dm square is equal to dn into cm and that is my answer. So very simple what we have done we have assumed that dm was equal to dm was equal to bm. So we took these two triangles and we are supposed to prove that dm by dn was equal to mc by dm. So we found that if we prove that these two triangles are similar our problem is solved. We gave this name this is angle 1, angle 2, angle 3 and angle 4. We formed the equation, we found that 2 is equal to 3, which we are supposed to prove. If 2 is equal to 3, then, then these two triangles are similar because this 1990 is almost the same. So with these two equations, we got 2 is equal to 3 and 1 is equal to 4. Right? 1 is equal to 4. In fact, this was not required. Only with 2 is equal to 3, we are able to prove because this was 1990 given. Anyway, we have proved this. Right? We can to do this way or this way. Any of this is fine. Now, since the triangles are similar, the sides are proportional. Sides are proportional, we got this equation dm square is equal to dn into c. In this example, AD and B are respectively perpendicular to BC and AC for ABC. We have to prove that triangle ADC is similar to BEC. Let's draw this. We have to prove this is a triangle ABC. AD and B are perpendicular to uh, BC and AC. So let's draw this AD and this A. Also we have to prove that ADC is similar to BEC. So the first thing we have to prove is ADC is similar to BEC. If you see this ADC 
see this triangle is so 90 degree VEC VEC is also 90 degree right so let's take this way this is D and this is E actually correct let's draw this the question say ADC so this is A this is D this is C ADC BEC this is B, this is D, this is C. We have to prove both are similar. D is equal to E, both are 90 we can see. If you see ADC in triangle ADC, this is angle C. ADC is angle C. And triangle BCE, BCE is also this is angle C. Same angle, both are same angle by construction. Right? So we can say that in triangle ADC and triangle BEC, First thing is angle D is equal to angle E. Why? 90 degree. Angle C is equal to angle C. Why? By construction. Both are same only. Therefore, triangle ADC is similar to triangle BEC. Very simple. We are asked to prove that the triangles are similar and we have proved. The second thing is ABC is similar to DC. We have to prove that. So let's do this way. This is A, B, and C. Then it is D, E, and C. Correct? In the same direction. Now, if you observe here, angle C is equal to angle C. Why? Because if you take this triangle D, C, E, and B, C, A, right? C is same. Correct? So, this is the second part I'm solving. This is the second part. This is the first part. This first, this is second. So angle C is equal to angle C. Construction. This is equal to angle C. Now if we can prove that this angle A is equal to D or B is equal to E, our problem is solved. But angle A is not equal to angle B. It means A is not equal to angle B. We don't know how to prove it. The second option is if we can prove by SAS, side angle side, that is if we can prove that sides are similar proportional that is if you can prove that ac by bc that is if you can prove that let me write here ac by bc ratio of the side if this is equal to dc by c dc by c our column is solved if you can prove this now if you see in the first question we have proved that these two triangles are similar. If these two triangles are similar, we can say that AC by BC is equal to DC by C. That is what we are supposed to prove. Correct? So AC by BC is equal to DC by C. Why? Since triangle ADC is similar to triangle BC. BC. Therefore, we can say that since sides are proportional, Common this angle is equal, these sides are proportional. We can say that triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEC by SAS rule, side angle side rule. In first case, it is similar by AA rule, angle angle rule. And in this case, it is similar by SAS rule. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos. Try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.